So question 10, calculate the resonant angular frequency of RLC circuit. Resonant angular frequency. Huh. I feel like this is a question that actually belongs in chapter um, 14. I'm not sure why I'm asking it. Um, I mean, okay, I think I know what they are asking for in terms of the answer. Um, just, you know, resonance in an AC circuit. So they, uh, so <laughs> let me just, uh, <laughs> I guess, okay, this is uh, what was uh, briefly confusing me. Um, so in the resonance in the context of like this would be given by this. Resonant frequency is the square root of, or one over square root of LC. That's fine enough. That's the frequency at which if you drive this uh, RLC series circuit, you get the maximum current, maximum all that. So um, when I go to that section, just to demonstrate, that's what you're gonna get. And um, and um, the thing that was confusing me, and I think that's what Part B is trying to get you to look at, is um, so you know, resonant frequency omega naught is uh, one over square root of one over LC. So that's in a driven circuit. <laughs> what was, uh, uh, what was, okay, confusing me is in chapter 14, we talked about uh, oscillation in RLC series circuit. And there's a frequency of oscillation that takes place in this, um, something that looks like a damped harmonic oscillator. And the damping actually causes a slight shift in frequency. So this is the frequency of oscillation of um, that undriven RLC circuit. Um, but I'm pretty sure question is not asking about this because one, it's in chapter 15 and two, it's a saying resonant frequency. So I think uh, even though it didn't explicitly say it's driven, it is actually driven. So, um, but <laughs> that's what I was uh, momentarily confused. Now, uh, okay, quote unquote confused. So uh, let me answer this on the assumption that it is still a driven circuit. So we are being asked about, um, we, we are being asked about the, um, the, we are being asked about a driven RLC circuit. So when it says, and by the way, if you listen carefully, you can kind of tell where I'm putting on editing start markers for myself for you know two years later when I'm gonna be reusing this video for a future class. <laughs> so, so uh, where the question says, uh, calculate the resonant angular frequency over an RLC series circuit. I want to clarify here that this is a driven uh, RLC series circuit. I think uh, the idea of resonance, it's only really relevant when it's a driven circuit. So what this circuit looks like is a voltage source or a current source that's hooked up to a resistor, inductor, and the capacitor in series. And the voltage will be driven at some oscillating frequency to the I omega T. And when it's asking about resonant frequency, it's asking at what uh, angular frequency omega, at what driven angular frequency omega is the current through the circuit at maximum. That's, a, um, that's the question that's being answered to, um, uh, when someone's asked about resonant angular frequency. And uh, when you go through this uh, calculation, I guess uh, I'll just uh, uh, briefly summarize. So again, as usual, you can, uh, you, it is possible to look up the formula in the textbook, that's one way to do it. And no knocking on that, uh, lower division, AC circuit, one way, being able to find the formula from textbook, that's good enough. Uh, I just want to demonstrate the approach using a complex impedance because I think <laughs> I keep saying it, but it's worth saying it. Once you learn how to use complex impedance, these AC circuits to become real easy. So um, our series RF circuit like this, you can analyze it almost like um, a series uh, circuit with the three registers. So one of them are actual registers 
and the inductor is kind of a like a register with resistance I omega L, and the capacitor is kind of like a register with resistance one over I omega C. These are the complex impedance. And with this series element, you can calculate the equivalent impedance of those uh, R plus, um, you've seen this a few times, so let me write it out in a simplified form. I omega L minus one over omega C. So that's the equivalent impedance of a series RLC circuit. And with resonance, the question is uh, at what angular frequency or at what frequency is current at maximum? And using Ohm's law involving the complex impedance, you know that uh, current is given by voltage divided by equivalent impedance. So the question of maximizing current comes down to question of uh, minimizing equivalent impedance. And um, looking at this, the resistance is not something you can do anything about, but this reactance portion, the combination of inductor and capacitor is uh, something that you can do something about by changing the frequency omega. So the smallest this can be is zero. If this is negative, then for the purpose of the absolute value, it's not gonna help you because the absolute value is always real part squared plus imaginary part squared. So to make that as small as possible, you want the imaginary part here to be zero. So that gives you this expression that where you can solve for omega. So omega L minus one over omega C is equal to zero. And this is the condition giving you the resonant frequency. So let me, oh, well, uh, let me just go through the algebra. Move this over here. Then I get plus one over omega naught C. Uh, collect omega on one side. So I get omega naught squared. Move L over to the other side. Equals one over LC. Take the square root of both sides to get omega naught. So yeah, the resonant frequency is one over square root of LC. You've actually seen this before with the uh, resonance, uh, resonant LC circuit. So I hope this expression doesn't sound all that surprising. It's the natural oscillation frequency. So it kind of makes sense that that's where we get maximum uh, uh, maximum current flow. So, so let me plug in the number to uh, illustrate something. Uh, I, again, don't always plug in numbers, but here I think it's relevant. Uh, one over um, LC, so 55 milli Henry, so 0 0.055 Henry times uh, six microfarad, so six times uh, power of 10 to the power of minus six. Um, that combined and then take the square root and say equal. So I guess 17, uh, well, 1741. Uh, and when I calculate omega, this is in, um, this is in units of radians per second. And since I'm being asked for radians per second and asked for omega actually, I can just plug this in. If I were being asked for frequency in Hertz, I would have to divide this by two pi. So let me put in 1741. Um, so that should say it's correct. And then um, the reason I want you to plug in the numbers is to demonstrate this, which is, so for part B, uh, they change the resistance uh, from 20 ohm to, to, to 50 ohm. And um, after a brief thinking of it, I hope you arrive at this conclusion that the resonant angular frequency is still 1741 radians per second. Because um, when you <laughs> look at the expression that you derived earlier, you see, hey, there's no dependence on resistance because the resistance wasn't something that we could do anything about. So yeah, yeah that, that's it. It's, uh, there's no, um, <laughs> resistance doesn't play any role here. And uh, this is a, a contrast to draw from a potentially confusing situation that I was talking about earlier, which is um, 
So this resonance, th this is why it's important that I specify this is a driven AC circuit. It, um, because you had a similar situation, let me clear all this. So this is the situation that we are working through, but there was a similar situation earlier with the RLC series circuit that was not a driven AC circuit. That's where you apply a, a quick change in voltage and then you let the circuit oscillate on its own. This is like a damped simple harmonic oscillator, not a, not a damped and driven <laughs> simple harmonic oscillator. And with a circuit like this, depending on how quickly you damp it, you actually change this behavior quite a bit. So this is showing an under damped simple harmonic oscillator. And the frequency of oscillation here is given by this, which is close enough to what we are seeing before, but with this modifier that actually has resistance this time. And in fact, if this resistance is large enough, it doesn't ever uh, oscillate. That's where you get uh, either critically damped or uh, over damped system. There, there's no oscillation frequency to talk about. But what I want to highlight is that this question is not about that. It's about a driven circuit. So R can be actually quite large. Uh, even then, there is still one frequency where the current is maximized, and that's this frequency. So, and I, I mean, you know, the value of the maximized current is quite different for R equals 250 ohm versus R equals 20 ohm, but, but that's not what the question is getting at. 